Now, all of these commuters in the heart of the downtown core is just a snippet of the sheer volume of people that take the TTC. Now, imagine if there's no way for them to actually get home if transit is not working. Now, that is a very possible scenario if the TTC is unable to reach a deal with the union by the end of the week. Well, progress is limited. Unfortunately, some of our core issues are not being addressed appropriately. Bargaining is ongoing between the TTC and the Amalgamated Transit Union 113 after their contract expired on March 31st. Workers voted in favor of a strike earlier this month. The clock is now ticking on the June 7th deadline. And we're hoping that there's an opportunity to prevent a strike happening, which would be a deal. But again, the progress is not happening sufficiently enough. Marvin Alfred, president of ATU Local 113, says job security is a major sticking point. It's very important to make sure that the system is sustained. And sometimes we're actually negotiating to protect the TTC from itself. When you have cross-boundary and a number of other agencies trying to provide transit in Toronto, it works against the interests of Toronto riders. Other issues on the table? Benefits and wages. We're not... We're not anywhere near a deal. According to the Transit Agency's 2023 CEO report, the TTC employs over 16,000 people. 12,000 of those workers are represented by ATU 113. We reached out to the TTC to ask about any contingency plans being made. They tell us they are optimistic a deal can be done as their main focus is reaching an agreement. But they add, as was said last week and as was the case in 2008, if there's a full labor withdrawal, there will be no TTC service. This was the scene in April 2008, the last time a full shutdown of the TTC happened. You gotta be kidding me! Buses parked, streetcars suspended, stations locked. It lasted less than 48 hours after employees were legislated back to work, but the impact on commuters was swift. This is how I'm getting home. I'm losing faith in the transit system. And that is history transit riders don't want repeated. Pretty devastating. All these people rely on us to get to work. For everybody in the city, it's definitely going to be huge, right? Like, people depend on that for their jobs to get home. I mean, I take the TTC all the time, so that would be not very good. Now, some may be wondering why this is happening now. Well, back in 2011, there was provincial law that deemed TTC staff essential workers, meaning that they weren't allowed to strike. But courts actually overturned that law last year, saying that it violated workers' charters' rights. So if there's no deal reached by the end of the week, this would be the first transit strike in the city in 16 years. In downtown Toronto, Afia Boss, City News.